just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Or was I just too subtle for you? Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community. Solidarity. Classic dilemma. What comes first? Family or the outside this world? This is a club. Nobody cares about your lofty world views. What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Look, Mayor Ryan and I often did not meet. Either. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on it. It wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Maggot's hour. Luxurious. Wait. Um... Just let me know how she's doing. Okay? I'll give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? What are you staring at? Got something to say? Say it. I said something. Expect an answer. Let me guess. Food from a tube, rusty water from the he did exchange there with Judy. What was that all about? How's this any of your business? Gonna follow up with your own sermon on responsibility for others? Go on, your high horse is waiting. I'm just curious. One thing I know about curiosity, won't get you shit unless you got the fists and the ass to back it up. Ten casinos, five poles, top and break. You know what happened to Evelyn Parker? Why are you asking me? You talked to Judy about her already. Sure, but you're the boss. You might know something more. Evelyn jumped the mock ship a long time ago. And anyone not a mox is not my damn problem. Forget Evelyn. What a sweet admit. This is about Judy's virtue. Good shit. So they call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's V. A what? No, pleased to meet you? I'm truly honored to meet you. You've got any biz, call me.
way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. If I miss this time, enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. I think Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. So hold on. You take the four. And that's cheap. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? Looking for Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Check in, please. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Afterlife. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Two matches. Interesting. Is that normal or... Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with... Unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And... The payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. We hope you enjoy your stay. Guess that makes you a real deviant.
would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. Hi, I'm Sky. And you must be... Vincent? V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay, then. V. Welp, looks like this'll be interesting. So, V. You're dying. How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside. You fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Just answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. I don't have time for a debate. Why'd the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything. Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. You always get your way. I was told this place to fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting, this. When true desires go unfulfilled, they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. We are here to understand. So what is it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died. Now move on already. That's tough. Rather let it eat away at me a bit more. Fear of death is what drives us all to do what we do. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? The people I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction. The end. But as a change. That thought alone could save your life. Hey. Think talk I might to just me. be afraid. So I imagine these things to distract myself from the thought of the void. Cause that's about what greeted me before. Fear is your most effective weapon in the fight against death. So what now? Now, you find out what it is you need to do. Which is... you're gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should've. You go through Night City, knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. 
But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it Thanks, burn. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do. But everything has its end. Afterlife. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. I need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. I need this info. Name your price. Fuck you, your Eddies and that girl of yours. I could get fired for doing something like this. I'll make it worth your while. All right, fine. Hand it over and get out before you land me in the shit. First, tell me what you know about Evelyn. Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her, but that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think? An XBD star? Where will I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am! No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog! I'm taking it up with you, here, now! You got any idea who I am? This conk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. We're going to have to escort you outside. Oh. No charge. I'll see. You're going back upstairs? In a minute. I need to piss first. At least I would hear no laments about pain. It hurt. It hurt. It's a hollow. Let me have my fantasies. Not like you know how to hack it, so why don't we just shut up and enjoy the show?
fuck me up the quickest. Where do you think they're okay. never not? More like hard life. You better keep this short and sweet. Too brain. Hi! Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. I need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Try calling her a bunch of times. No luck. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Which was it? Osaka or Oslo? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so... I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Where can I find this Woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off limits to customers. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kinda like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. Tiger Claw's moonlight is peeping Tom's. You always got eyes in their dolls. You know what goes on in these boots. Then, data mine the behavioral chips. Saw that twist coming a mile away. Had a hunch. Still, 
Wonder if it's for their own use or for sale, and who'd be buying. No clients allowed in here. Be a chum and close the door on your way out, would you? As you can see, I'm very busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over a booth, too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. You look to me like a reasonable man. I think we can work something out. And you look to me like a psycho prick who's never been ghosted by his bow or bill before. But go on. I'm listening. You've got info, I've got eddies. It's a fair trade. What's your price? You need to pull your head out of your ass. Eddies will buy you whores here, not snitches. I look like either of those to you. Told you what you look like. Don't tell me you weren't listening. Surely a reasonable man like yourself wouldn't mistake a donation for a bribe. Real pleasure chatting. But just where exactly do you see this going? Right, we're done here. And I'll be sure to let your bosses know how you treat your customers. <laughs> <sighs> That's so funny. First off, I highly fucking doubt you know who my boss is. If you did, you wouldn't be calling her my bosses. And on second thought, think I'll take you to my co now. Just to see the look on her face when you tell her whatever it is you make up on the way. She hates lying assholes as much as I do. But we all deserve a laugh, don't we? If I were you, I'd run the cash angle. It's practically written on his face. F-R-A-U-D. Know you've been skimming off this place's till. How much you clep already? What the fuck are you talking about? Talking about the eddies you skim from Cloud's accounts on a weekly basis. Not skimming anything, I'd have to be a fool. Doesn't matter. I'm just curious what the Tiger Claw leadership is gonna think once they find out. Won't think anything, because it ain't fucking true. I work with the dolls. Cloud's account's got shit to do with me. You sneaky little shit. Kudos to you for hatching this one. <sighs> this conversation's starting to bore me. Humor me, will ya? This particular piece of ass. Out of all of them. Why? She wasn't even that good. She was hot. I'll give you that. But for all the delusions of grandeur, she was nothing more than a basic whore. And like all basic whores, she got what was coming. As will you. Well, aren't you the king of fuck-ups? You're not helping. Now what? Too bad you can't talk to dead people. Oh, wait. You're doing it now. Anyway, just scour his cup. That's just my work. You come out alone. Won't hurt you. I 
Sold her off to a ripper. Ship was busted. Could have sent her to get it patched up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a Joy Toy's wet dream. Nice work back there. Ever thought of applying for the diplomatic corps? You think Fingers got her? I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. Don't have time to massage egos. I respect that. <laughs> of course you do. You'd have loved to have dropped the H-bomb in this place. No need to go so OTT. I've got other methods. One thing's for sure, though. Claus won't forget this. And this is the latest from around the world. The Lunarinskaya uranium mine collapse that occurred just outside Novosibirsk in southern Siberia has concluded with a happy ending. As you recall, 35 miners became trapped deep underground following a high-magnitude earthquake. But thanks to their Suze Lake 2 hibernation implants, the miners were able to survive the food and fresh water. You had a plan. You tried. It fell flat. Now you're flat. Don't look in any condition to find help. return to work. Moving from below the earth to above it, Militech has announced plans to establish a new colony on the Oh, fuck! What the hell's that? 
No, no, damn it. Jesus, the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. Gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See, me and Arasaka, we got a half century old score neat settling. And I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. <laughs> but why? Fighting for some dated ideal? Pursuing a personal vendetta? You don't need to know. Here to get me from point A to point B. Listen, I know things. Where we can save your life. Who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. Okay, so... This Makoshi, what is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Come on, come on. You got more to say, so just say it. Fifty years back, Ops on the Human Mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. <sighs> Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, bomb's named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet, but you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside, Makoshi. I call, didn't I? Promising's one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock, goes by fingers. Oh shit. Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. <laughs> I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Uh, all right, later, me.
has a wicked vibe. So this more up your alley than clouds. Hey, at least here you know what you're getting. How does she do that? Not one step closer. Here to see who. Look, I don't want any trouble. Just let me through. Pretty please. How about you pretty please me? <laughs> all right, all right. Go on. Blue butter. What the hell are they taking? Ah, blue the world. Blue, huh? Bloody stain. Improved. Cream raw. Veins were popping with it during the third corporate. Twenty-four Arise! hours, you feel no pain and barely remember a thing afterwards. Who can blame them then? Fingers. Know where I can find him? If I could, I'd swap, you know? Why does everything have to be so damn convoluted? In the end, only I got left to shred of cables hey, and empty bottles. Off. Think I'm scared of your skinny ass? You will be when every mocked in town descends on this shithole. You got a financial claim? Take it to court. Maybe. Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the greener pastures. V, hey. Another 15 artificial islands. Available for sale now. Hello! There's a line! Nuh-uh, you ain't cutting. Sit your ass down and wait your turn. Hey, look in the mirror. Who paid for all that? Think fingers would have fixed a crack face plate for free? You want out? Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. After the heist, Evelyn holed up with the Mox for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell she go back to Clouds? <laughs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docks in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls? See if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. I think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere. On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God, no. Because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. You see a woman with blue hair around here? Had a doll chip. Uh, think I know who you're talking about. Fingers worked on her, sure. She's still here? No idea. Gotta ask him.
My friend here, she's in real sorry shape. You couldn't let us cut in front just this once. Uh, uh. Course, honey, pick my guest. Well, now hold on, hold on a sec. Didn't seem so bad just a minute ago. She's a toughie. Keeps it inside, mostly. Now try Come on, let's go. Lips of yours. Mm, mm, mm. Hmm. How about now? Better. Uh, wait, something's wrong. Faceplate's previous owner had a longer... Edges are stretching your optic. I think he's done. Where are we going in? Your eyes will adjust. Eventually. Yes? Hello? What can I do for you? Need a minute of your time. Fury! A minute? That's all? Shame. You could watch those juicy lips of yours flap for hours, days. <laughs> but I'm busy right now. You tiger claws! As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mocks. The mocks? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? You're in for a treat. Try ours today. Something wrong? I used to ride with nomads. Resourceful folk. Wouldn't cast anything aside until it was worn down, dead, couldn't be fixed or reused in some other way. But what you're giving these girls, not even nomads would touch that. Please. Let's not exaggerate. I give them what I can. What do you two want? Evelyn Parker. I need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Yes? I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know... I'll be more than glad to show you around. But, um, uh, later, perhaps. Of course, I can't remember each and every one. Please set your exquisite derrieres down. Went jittery as soon as I mentioned her name. Don't try getting out of this. I know you remember her. I, I have a neurological condition. It's not easy living with ticks. Really, I'd love to help, but if only I knew who you were talking about. What about your logs? Gotta have some kind of record. Tech like this, you don't register. Don't put any names down for it. Blue hair, doll chip. Best brain dance gear ever, though damaged. Was she here? Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. You mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what, exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Any idea what caused the damage? Tech was top-notch. Didn't go kerplunk on its own, that's for sure. Saying she was targeted? A netrunner, as I see it. One with some serious code up their sleeve, too. Get to the point. Point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Jude, calm down, okay? You're not helping. Let me do the talking. 
Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. Where we find her? I like you. <laughs> You're frisky, intrepid. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gunk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gunk? What do you think? Why did all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm, your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. These guys, what do they look like? Like you, me, anyone else in this city. Really now? They look like you? They look like the kind of guys you don't make eye contact with. One of them was a bearded fellow. The two that came for her didn't say anything about where they were going to take her, what they were going to do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. Need air. I'll be outside. Judy's right. People like you make this city a living hell. Day in, day out. Got what you wanted, didn't you? So get the fuck out of here! of the mayoral debate. I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. And you two got along swimmingly, didn't you? Exchange numbers, too. Two birds of a fucking feather. Don't worry. We'll find her, I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey! Keep it together. You wanna give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. We need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. Has an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. I think I've got a better idea. Saw a smut shop on Jig Jig Street. All kinds of stuff there. Think you might find a death's head? I can't hurt to try. 
Meantime, see if I can't find something on the NCP domain. I'll wait in the van. Where's your cute little ass rushing off to? Slow down. Treat yourself to a little R E L. What's this one do? Use your imagination. Why do you think I came here? So I wouldn't have to. Yeah, I can see that. <clears throat> Show me what those hands can you do. You chosen something. Ain't no other way to live. Follow How can me. I be of service? Yo, yo, ever try rainbow poppers? Purple haze? Got every color under the sun I do. Won't find a... Looking for, uh, something special. A brain dance to really... You mean smut? Nah, more hardcore. Won't find it here. But there's a guy on Jig Jig Street, has a whole lot of peculiar flicks, and I mean peculiar. Looking for, uh, something special. A brain dance to really... You mean smut? Nah, more hardcore. Won't find it here. But there's a guy on Jig Jig Street, has a whole lot of peculiar flicks, and I mean peculiar. Got anything that might interest me? Did we go somewhere, or is this a dark alley type of party? I ain't no scuzz ass slut. I got my own place. Uh, sure. Got some time to kill. Come on, baby. Something wrong. Untouched. 
Raw's all you get with me. What's your edge? I want something to the... I'll come back some other time. Betting on it. How about you? You buying or just gonna stand there like a pig undercover? Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? Give me the best of the best. The ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. How about a discount for your newest customer? Only give regulars discounts. If you're short, then fuck off. Got anything that might interest me? Got anything that might interest me? Pleasure doing biz with you. Everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. My catch <laughs> Good to go. Dig around all you want. Scav woman. <laughs> Who knew that sides chopping people up they were scrolling XBDs? Christ, it's hot. Thermal readings are off the charts. Keep looking. Ordered recently. Scav, gotta be. No one else with that kind of fashion sense. Your corp patch and the coveralls. Coveralls had a patch on them. Electric corp. Mm, could be a costume, a prop. Factory worker fetish. Hard as hell to believe. Hmm. It'd explain the higher thermal readings too. You could be onto something. Box, Decker, Tanaka, and Rogers logo. Standard for a trash heap. Can't beat that rich synth got aroma. Cheap shit. Cold too. Mm-hmm. Buck a slice. Coffee was cold, like from the day before. Pizza looked fresh, though. So? 
means someone's grabbing bucket slice regularly, which is not something someone does for the flavor and the fresh ingredients. Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. Nobody's gonna slap across town for it. Okay, we're looking for an electric core power plant located near a bucket slice. EC used to have a big old complex in Charter Hill. Buck a slice chicks out too. How can you be sure though? Here we go. Old electric core power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with this for now. Nothing else to garner from this scroll. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Let's get going. On our way. Still can't shake it. That virtue sample we saw with the Death's Head Moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then... Stop it. They'd have to be utter gongs to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street.
Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. Right. Going in. <laughs>